morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Morning Glory. My name is Eddie Law, and uh, this is a this is a little little uh, I guess mini podcast I do on my on my drive to work. I was gonna go live like maybe like two minutes ago, maybe, but uh, I live by by I live near a school, and I kind of had to go out this long street to get out. And at the very end of the street is a, is a high school, and they had like three cops out, fucking lights flashing and shit. Cops all standing around as they normally do. Uh, that's how they do their job. I'm joking. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, it's some weird shit going on at that school. So, well, whatever. I'm out of it. Um, huh. Anyway, uh, like I said, this is Morning Glory, little morning podcast I like to do on my drive to work. A couple things I heard last night. Well, first of all, I, I normally don't talk about baseball. Um, I don't like baseball. It's Unless I go to the games or there's something on the line, I mean, as far as, like, like right now, playoffs is probably a little more fun to watch. But even then, like, until the World Series itself, I kind of just look at it <laughs> during the playoffs, like, during the, uh, like, the series right now, all the series going on, the ones that are ending. Um, but I won't actually watch a fucking game until the World Series. And that's if maybe, like, if it was, like, a team that's interesting. Like, for example, the Cubs make it to the World Series, I might watch a game, you know? So, um, anyway... So last night, uh, went out to dinner and and they had the uh, they had the uh, Mets Mets Dodgers game, and uh, I would, the, the the restaurant I was at was just filled with Dodger fans, filled to the brim with Dodger fans. Right, they're all chanting for their team and all that. They got down. I forgot what score was. They were down. I think one. I forgot the score, but they were down. And uh, the Mets uh, were pitching on, uh, and uh, and they were all yelling like you know, it's like 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 their like their like their players could hear them through the TV or some shit, and um, you know, screaming at them. And I and, and the funny thing to me was the fact that they were so into it, and I was like, oh, you know, because I don't understand baseball too much, like and enough for me to give a shit about it. It just looks so boring. But um, these guys were into it. Just, I'm surrounded by Dodger fans. Fight week. I guess you could say fight weekend. Yeah, you can kind of say fight weekend. Anyway, um, <laughs> what's up, Daniel? Um, yeah. So fucking uh, uh yeah. So I'm surrounded by by Dodger fans, and then end of the game comes. I didn't realize that, that it was over. Someone struck out or got you know taken out, whatever the fuck. And uh, and these Dodger fans got super depressed, man. Super depressed. Here's the problem. With, uh, yeah, I just watched Home Run Derby. Yeah, you can watch that on YouTube. What up, Sean? So you tore it up this morning and the neighbors complained? Yeah, seems like it. There's a bunch of cops around and shit, so that's my bad. Anyway, um, yeah, what's up, Sean? Um, yeah, fuck, I keep getting off track here. Uh, yeah, so Dodger fans were all upset and shit, and, and uh, there's nothing that I like more, honestly, as far as sports goes, than obnoxious fan bases losing. I really, I love it. I really do. Um, I make no bones about it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Phoenix Suns fan. I'm an Arizona Cardinals fan, and we have our share of shit fans. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, when the when the Suns, uh, by the way, Dimex need to keep Goldschmidt and Pollock. Goldschmidt, you know what though? Here's the thing. And, and like I said, I don't know a shit ton. I know, I know, I know. I, I get off of baseball in a second, Dan. But uh, um, but uh, the thing about, about like what I do know about baseball is is the sports is the uh, how to, I, in my opinion. Is how you can improve your your ball club, right? Goldschmidt is a hot commodity right now. There's gonna be teams that, that give up some decent draft picks, maybe some decent young talent. Um, so I think they're gonna end up looking to trade his ass, and maybe Pollock too. But uh, the the Diamondbacks are notorious for letting go of good young players, so maybe they'll let go of older players this time, try to pick up some young ones. They're garbage, honestly. The front office with the Diamondbacks has been dog shit for a little over ten years now. So, oh yeah, Degrom shut him down for sure. Um, yeah, so, uh, uh, fucking, yeah. So I just love watching, like, LA fans, like, get really upset. That's fun for me. It really was. I was looking around, big smile on my face, like, ah, this is more like it. Take your asses back to Los Angeles, and baseball is not boring. Ah, ah, Sean. Okay. UT fans are sore losers, ha. Um, yeah, so, all right, moving on here. Uh, let's, uh, I guess we'll talk a little, what was the other thing I want to bring up? Oh, the Lamar Odom thing is getting disgusting. Um... Forget the fact, okay, not the fact, forget the details that have come out, quote unquote, come out, nothing, nothing's been proven, that's why I'm happy LA lost, the fans suck ass, yeah, I'm with you, man, um, okay, so forget the fact that Lamar Odom, you know, was found, and, uh, for sure, man, I'm gonna have a beer, for sure, <laughs> but, uh, 
Okay, forget the fact that Lamar Odom, you know, was finding a brothel in Nevada. That looks bad enough already. In a moral standpoint, right? But other than that, it's legal. Who gives a shit? Um, I'm sure if they were legal in every state, they'd probably be the most lucrative businesses you could run. Um, which shows you how moral we are in the U.S., huh? Huh? In the world, really. Let's be honest. So, um, anyway. Yeah, so he's, you know, details coming out saying that, that he had cocaine and a bunch of herbal Viagra, which isn't actually Viagra, but a bunch of, like, you know, what do they call it, horny, horny goat's weed or whatever the fuck. So, you know, dude was overloaded with a bunch of shit and, you know, just plugging away for, like, four days at a, at a, at a brothel, right? With a, you know, it's, a, it, first of all, it's insane what money can get you. That's one. Two, it's really sad because Lamar Odom was legit. It's not good. It's not looking good for the guy. They say he's brain dead and organs are failing. I, you know what, I, dude? I've read that. I've read that, dude. And, uh, but the only places I read that are, are in, uh, in uh, tabloid magazines. That's the only place I read that. I haven't read that anywhere cr- that, I, that I give any credit to, you know. Even Yahoo hasn't said anything about it. But I think maybe the rumors are that he is, you know, probably fucked. He's definitely in a coma, is what they're saying. Um, but he's showing small signs of improvement. But, you know, brain dead people have shown small signs of improvement before. And, it, you know, found to be, uh, you know, beyond saving. So, um, you know, saying he found it with co- you know, just cocaine in his nose and his mouth and all that. He was all fucked up, supposedly. Uh, what, what disgusts me about it, one, the Kardashians flock over like a fucking, just a flock of, uh, of, uh, fucking crows and whatever, whatever, whatever the bird is that, that circles around, buzzards, I don't know, whatever the bird is that buzzes, that, that, that circles around dead, uh, animals to eat them, or dying animals to eat them, um, you know, and then, you know, the, the word coming out, the, uh, yeah, vultures, there we go, vultures, thank you, thank you. Again, again, English is my second language. I knew the name in Spanish, and English is a little uh, off. So anyway, um, yeah. So they fucking, you know, they, they get the cameras are there supposedly. Like the whole reality TV shit's there. It's fucking garbage. I heard Khloe Kardashian is making all the decisions for Lamar. Yeah, man, their uh, Mike, their uh, uh, their divorce isn't final, finalized. So according to that, to to, to people have been talking about it, and I'm talking about you know media. Um, she still has legal right to decide what to do with them, right? So if it comes to the point where they say brain dead, you know, she could say, all right, pull the plug. Uh, which, by the way, will be huge ratings for their show, which is why they're there. Hmm? Um, except maybe Chloe, because Chloe, to me, and I've watched the show maybe twice, literally two episodes ever, and I just kind of I wanted to see what the, uh, what, uh, I just want to see some ass. It's kind of what I want to see was uh, Kim Kardashian's ass, which is now ballooned to the size of an actual hot air balloon. Which is, you know, past the gross point. But um, anyway, so, but, but it seemed like Chloe might have been, like, the only, like, genuine-ish person there. So, yeah, they are vultures. So, um, so yeah, now we got that going. Lamar's family's there. I'm pretty sure he's got kids. Pretty sure. They're there, supposedly. Um, really sad situation. What disgusts me the most about it is Nancy Grace's fucking disgusting ass on TV talking about it. That bitch will fucking bring up any and all situations that have nothing to do with her shit talk the person involving them ah sean sean says brain dead people can improve look at me Uh, (laughs) ha fucking hey dude give yourself some more credit um but uh uh yeah fucking nancy grace going off talking about it shit talking lamar odom first you know and people people don't talk to him people talk about him like uh people like nancy grace talk about him like he's just this you know reality tv guy you know what i mean um, you know, and, and so it's, it's fucking disgusting, man. And then, you know, she, she, she goes, first of all, she, she shits on him saying, oh, you see some reality TV star again, finding a better brothel. It's like, okay, you know, first of all, did you know he played in the NBA for over 10 years? I'm pulling your man card, dude. Oh, shut the fuck up. Look, the only time I watched the Kardashian show, okay, was when I, uh, when my ex-girlfriend wanted to see it and, you know. It's, it's kind of uh, when you do, when you when you when you with your chick, and she wants to watch TV, all right. It's like uh, it's like adding brownie points to the getting late in a little bit bank, all right. And you break the bank and uh, get late, so it's kind of how it works. How I work with her anyway. All right, I haven't watched it since. And that's, that was like three years ago. So anyway, um, anyway, so the Nancy Grace thing, she's fucking. Uh, it's all good. I watch Grey's Anatomy. Not something you should admit in public, Dan. God damn it, fucking. <laughs> anyway, um. 
yeah, so Nancy Grace, fucking, uh, uh, you know, fucking shit sits on Lamar Odom, says a bunch of shit, horrible shit about him, just barely, barely mentions that he's, uh, you know, two-time NBA champion, uh, what, agreed upon by a lot of people, oh, there you go, okay, he's married, all right, well, that makes sense, Daniel, when you're married, you know, you can pretty much forget about your man card, your, your wife has it in her purse, so, uh, I'm holding on to mine as long as I can, um, yeah, what the fuck is going on up here, uh, okay, I swear, man, freeways and road roads in, in, in Arizona get worse and worse every day. They get closer to L.A. status. It's fucking terrible. So, um, yeah. Nancy Grace shits on him. The barely mentions his career. Two-time NBA champ. Lots of you know, former teammates coming out in support, saying he's one of the best teammates they know. You know, and so, uh, very true, very true, man. Um... Uh, Daniel mentioning that Chloe should have been there for Lamar during his hard times and not just jumped on Harden's dick. He didn't say the dick part, but that's basically what she did. Um, should be ashamed of her, of her herself and Harden should run. And yeah, here's the thing, and I'm, I'll talk about that in a second. Let me finish what I was, what my point I was saying. Um, you know, and then Nancy Grace says all that shit, shits on Lamar Odom like a motherfucker. And then, oh, chill the fuck out, Jesse. Um, and then, um, no, no, I don't watch Nancy Grace. I saw that shit on, on uh, this was sent to me on YouTube. Um, yesterday. Anyway, so then she goes off and, and puts on Twitter, uh, you know, prayers to Lamar Odom. Um, yeah. Yeah, prayers prayers for, the, for Lamar Odom. You know, let's hope he pulls through. I'm like, shut the fuck up, you evil bitch. If anyone's seen any of Nancy Grace's shit, I mean, she is just a horrible garbage person. And, and it's just like, oh, ugh. she's like, this is disgusting. She's worse than Bill O'Reilly. She really is. Do I drive a minivan? Do you drive a minivan? Um, this is a, this is my work uh, work vehicle. My truck's in the shop, so. Oh yeah, no, I don't drive a minivan. Um, this is the the work vehicle. In fact, you can kind of see behind me. There's no seats, so we can throw stuff in here. So yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean makes makes my point for me. He says that I, I at least I'm honest. I I, I watched the Kardashians. I only watched the Kardashians to see the ass and the ass alone. That's it. Uh huh. So anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. And then uh, as far as Chloe, here's the thing about it. And I don't know the details at all about her and Lamar Odom and, or even Harden. Just know that it had, just obviously know that it happened off of Twitter. And, uh, you know, but uh, Kylie and Kendall, who's that? Send me on Twitter. Let me know who Kylie and Kendall is. I don't know idea. But, um, yeah, fucking, I don't know any details of that, but relationships are really fucking, relationships can be very, very, um, complicated especially the younger sisters okay it's weird um yeah fucking the company relationships are very complicated especially with guys like, like lamar odom who's super emotional and very uh uh, uh you know a little, a little crazy shut up mike anyway um you know can get very crazy and stuff and so you know i don't know look i don't i for example i was everyone i'm sure everyone watching and myself we have very different lives. Our realities are way different than the realities of people that, that are on you know reality TV shows and are you know have been NBA champions and have made a bunch of money. Their realities are way different than ours. You know what I mean? So it's just uh, it's a weird thing. I mean, yeah, we can say oh she should have been there the whole time. She shouldn't have jumped the Harden's dick. Maybe that was the move for someone in her in her reality in her mindset. So it's uh it's uh Iron Man. It's uh, uh you know it's one of those things. So. And then the other thing I want to talk about, um, so this is Ronda Rousey mom, Ronda Rousey's mom going off on a bunch of shit, um, on, a, on her coach, her head coach is getting a little worse, yeah. apparently she did another interview where she says that the reason she hates him is because how she, she, she treats women, apparently it's not, the, Ronda's not the only athlete that she's ignored, right, um, it might be, um, but, uh, it might be more a personal deal, but she couldn't be, be with him because of his addiction, Throw stuff in the back like the hot chick to plow. It's a good point. You know what? You could throw a mattress back in this van, huh? Like a little uh, bullet mattress or whatever. Anyway. Um, fucking, yeah. So, Rhonda's mom come, you know, you guys already know the story. You guys seen that, that too. Bang bus. Dude, that's old school porn. That's like high school. Like, sneaking on the, on the, on the, on the internet. Fucking, hide, you know, hiding out somewhere in your, in your, in your house with the door locked with your fucking laptop trying to find... Trying to find a free bang bus episode. That's just funny. That's old school porn right there, man. I don't even know they still do that shit. Um, oh, it is good stuff. Uh, yeah. So, 
you know, you guys have seen the videos. I'm, I'm sure the first one was was pretty like, oh shit, she's angry. The second one was even crazier. And uh, I didn't see this on a video. I read this on a, on a, on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on one of those you know blog uh, MMA sites. Um, you know, and uh, uh, she's saying that basically she's upset because of how how he treats women. And how he's a shitty coach, really. He had, no one at that gym has improved whatsoever. So, it's uh, it's getting really weird over there. <laughs> really fucking weird. Um, Ronda should probably get her mom to shut up a little bit. Just, 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 for, just for this fight camp. Get through this fight camp. Get through this home fight. You know, win this shit. And then, uh, you know, then, and then you can, you know, you can all get together and deal with it. But apparently. Because he didn't want to coach her the first time she was there. Yeah, no, absolutely. I read that. I read that in her book, and she said that before too. He didn't want to coach her for the first few months, and then apparently the women that are in there now, he doesn't even look at, doesn't even work with, you know. And then apparently he tells fighters they're doing a lot better, they're getting better, and according to her, they're not. Um, it's just a whole, whole lot of a mess over there. Something must have set her off. I think something really fucked up must have set her off to make her just blow up like that and start talking all this shit. So. Um, It'll be interesting to see what happens on it. I don't think she would have said anything if Ronda didn't want her to. Mm. Look at his record with all the other women who were under his gym. I didn't know he had... Oh, yeah. Who fucking else trained there? Uh, the four horsewomen shit trained there. Um, someone else trained there, too. Uh, she says she wasn't going to be quiet anymore. Well, uh, hell of a time to fucking start talking shit, Ronda's mom. Should have waited until after this fucking fight. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, you know the media is loving it, so or the MMA media is loving it. So what are you gonna do? All right. Um, what time is it? Okay. Fake taxi. The new bang bus. Isn't that a European thing though? Anyway. Uh, but do you think Ronda goes does well? If she goes to another gym. Ronda does well no matter where she goes, man. All right. Let, let's be completely 100 percent honest. Edmund got super lucky that he she fell into his lap because that's exactly what she did. Oh, what happened? You know what I mean? She fell into his lap, he ignored her for a few months, finally started training her, and realized, holy shit, I have the greatest female fighter, you know, free female fighter to possibly athlete to ever fucking walk the earth. And then, uh, you know, she said the videos were taped weeks ago. Huh, so why the fuck did they wait till now? Anyway, um, yeah, why the fuck did they wait till now? It's garbage. Uh, to release them. So, that's weird. Anyway, um, no, Ronda would do great anywhere. It doesn't matter. Like, really, she could go anywhere. She can go to Greg Jackson's. She can go to... Well, she wouldn't go to Greg Jackson's, but she could. She could go to AKA. She can go to fucking anywhere and still dominate. That chick was gonna dominate that division regardless. You know what I mean? It just, uh... It just happened to be that he's fighting. she's fighting out of there. So, Ronda's mom's a legit badass, though. She was judo champ back in the day. Yeah, I know. She, she doesn't... He's, she, here's the thing. She can say that shit and actually be credible. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, you know, I, 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 we'll talk about Dillashaw Cruz in a second. Um, but, uh, um, no, she can dominate no matter where she goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and, yeah, her mom's legit. She knows what the fuck she's talking about. So she could be completely, she, she could be 100% right. And, uh, and, uh, and that's why I give her credit. That's why I'm like, okay, I kind of believe her. So we'll find out after this fight. Believe me, if Ronda Lee moves, up, moves on and we hear rumblings of Ronda and, and, and her mom kind of being on the outs a little bit, then we'll find out. But, but uh, I guess I guess we all gotta stay tuned to that. Team elevation. Ron is not going to team elevation. Anyway, um, no, no way. But uh, just because you know, I think she likes to, uh, she likes the California the California weather way too much. Anyway, moving on. T.J. Dillashaw would lose. Uh, Dan, uh, Daniel says uh, T.J. Dillashaw will lose to Cruz because of the whole team alpha male changing teams and all the drama bullshit. Mm, yeah. But I think he loses to him regardless. I don't think T.J. Dillashaw can hang with, with a healthy Cruz. And if that's when we get a healthy Dominic Cruz, I think T.J. Dillashaw gets, gets uh, TKO'd in the third round. Probably helps that he's all fucking stressed out with all the drama and shit, but um, I think Cruz is going to get his belt back regardless. So I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Anyway, uh, all right, got to go. I'm getting phone calls from, the, from, from, from work, which means some shit's going down, and I got to handle it. So... Uh, then when we get when we want favor with Dillashaw, hell yeah! If Cruz, when Cruz beats Dillashaw, make favor with Dillashaw ASAP. Anyway, all right, um, I'm gonna let everybody go. You guys all have a wonderful day. It's Friday for everyone. Favor still beat thinks he beat Cruz in that second fight. No, no he didn't. Um, he's in the now. That's how it works.
Look at BJPen.com. Still talking about the last UFC event. BJPen.com is for another Periscope. I could go on for an hour about those fuckers. Anyway, all right. Now I really got to go. Uh, later, Daniel. All right, everyone have a good day. If it's your Friday, if it's it, today's Friday, it's your weekend starts tomorrow or tonight. If uh, if today's your you know last day at work, cool. Enjoy your weekend. If it's tomorrow, I feel for you, but there's no UFC event. But World Series of Fighting tomorrow. Um, Yushin Okami against uh, John Fitch. So we're either gonna get a weird fight or a boring fight. It's kind of one or the other. So, um, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, everyone have a good day. Have a, a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next uh, podcast or whatever we do. Will I be there? No, nah, man. I should sit in Connecticut. I ain't flying out there. So. Um, however, the one in Phoenix, November 20th, November 20th, I think November, December 20th, I'm definitely going to be there, so, alright fellas, everyone have a good day, uh, go get that money, make them dollar bills, pay your bills, take care of your families, tell them you love them, spend some time with them, alright, we're the one day, we're one day closer to death, so make it count, see ya.